Hello my explorers, welcome to another excursion on Rowena Explores. On today's trip, I visited an underground railroad site. You would just walk past this house and not know that there was a historical story behind its walls. This Greek Revival Italianated style house is located at 857 Riverside Drive in Upper Manhattan. It was built in 1851 by Dennis Harris, an abolitionist. It is likely the only surviving house in Upper Manhattan with known ties to abolitionist movement. The house, owned by Dennis Harris and his friend Judge John Newhouse, is believed to be a stop on the Underground Railroad and provided shelter to enslaved people before they escaped by boat to Canada. Today, Save Riverside, a group of neighbors and preservationists, are advocating for the site to become a protected landmark. Report has been sent to the City Landmarks Commission detailing the home's importance. However, Commissioner Chair Sarah Carroll said staff review of 857 Riverside Drive determined that it does not appear to retain the integrity necessary for consideration as an individual landmark due to extensive modification that have been made to the house and its architectural details. According to WABC, elected officials are calling on the city to reverse a decision to reject landmark status of 857 Riverside Drive, which is linked to the Underground Railroad. A campaign is on its way to preserve the landmark from developers who wanted to demolish the house to build a 13-story high-rise building. Currently, there is a stop work order issued by New York City Department of Building. What can I do, you might ask? You can tell Mayor Adams that black landmarks matter. Because when you save the house, you save the history. Thank you for coming along on this tour with me. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share my videos. Your support is greatly appreciated. Until my next excursion, Rowena Explores, signing off.